develop and grow and we map that they gave us for the trail ride and everything was pretty great really nicely arrowed uh, the start of RJ's I believe it went this way and everything was going great until the lunch spot and when we left the lunch spot a side-by-side -side was blocking an arrow and somehow we ended up turning right instead of left and following other arrows and I believe we bypassed all the sweet single track and ended up um, I think into this one and then wherever the rest and then back at RJ's so I don't know how much this was but I have a feeling this is what we missed because we got back and I thought to myself I feel like we could have done more single track and uh, yeah, I'm really bummed. Stupid side by side. And here we are at the Midhurst Trail Ride. I think it's about 150 kilometers of single track. She's full of it, taking it easy. She's still trying to go fast. Hey everybody, Vanessa from the Volcarado family. And episode three, we are at the Midhurst Trail Ride put on by Scora. This is my first time attending this event. And I'm following my friend Nate. Look, people are already taking breaks. It's been like three minutes, oh my God. Just kidding. Um, no, I'm not. This is like... Yeah, my bike's making it, I think, look a bit more dramatic than it was. Um, <laughs> okay, but my suspension is actually a, so much better than it was last year. I got it redone at, uh, yeah, at Legs Off-Road, and it is, like, not soft like the regular Ross trainer. Um, so what I was saying... Talking. She talks so much, that girl, when she rides. Oh, yeah. I'm basically saying that it's a trail ride. It's not a race. So, you know, I shouldn't go up to people and start rubbing them. Um, even though a lot of people were doing that. Branch in the eyeball. Yeah, true story. That was pretty much the only one spot the entire day. You're going to hear my bike doing that a lot in the next minutes of this video. Oh, I'm riding too much. I'm not riding too much. What am I saying? So my bike is too irky jerky in, in second gear and too sloppy slop in third gear. So there's just no going. Yeah she's dramatic. My goodness. Um, yeah, that's me, if you haven't figured it out. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. I need to mess around with my gearing. And I don't know why this is so complicated. Because I've had this bike now. This is my fourth season. And it just seems very dramatic. So, I'm either constantly shifting in third. Or very irky-jerky in second. So gonna sort myself out because I'm tired of hearing my bike sound like junk on these videos. So we're now Friday, May 31st. This ride was last Sunday and I'm actually getting ready to go to RJ's this weekend and I feel like a... Ugh. I was sick at Gopher's Dune and I'm just not feeling better. So that sucks and it sounds like I'm making excuses but I totally am. I'm just not shaking this man cold and um, 
yeah, I don't like not feeling good. But what was I saying? Oh yes, I am not following my husband who actually was on the trail ride. And he claims that a few people went up to him and said, are you Van Kirk's husband? And he's like, yeah. Whoa. So he claims he answered that several times and he should just get a t-shirt that says, I am Van Kirk's husband. So I thought that was kind of cute. Um, so yeah, I'm not riding with him because he did not want to ride with me. Uh, he chose to ride with our buddy Kevin uh, Perry. You might have seen him hanging around at Langs. He works on my flight. Oh, it sounds so bad. Uh, no, just kidding. He's very great. Um, but he decided that he wanted to ride with old people and not ride with his wife. Whoa, I have no idea why. I'm a very supportive person when I ride um, to everyone around me. I don't make fun of them. I'm super patient. Okay, maybe not. Um, yeah, so I think he just wanted to enjoy himself. And uh, apparently that doesn't mean with me. So he had a great time. Uh, and I had a good day too. So I found that this trail ride was... Kind of boring. Ugh, don't get mad. Okay, so it was super well organized. It was my first time doing it. I just found it like uneventful. And I did cheat and skip single track by accident in my defense because I don't know what I missed. Maybe it was more challenging, but it's all the same. It's all kind of twisty and, you know, flat zero hill climbs so I mean I guess I could have practiced doing log hops like because clearly I'm pathetic at it there you go I knew I was gonna say it um but uh, to add to my drama I hurt my knee at gophers and I was trying to take it easy I was trying to rest it so I mean, I guess I could have practiced nice doing job. that because I do I need to I practice. It. I'm horrible going over big obstacles, especially under pressure. So that is this year's goal. And <laughs> for you, going around. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just found it a little bit just meh. So will I go back 100%? But it's like you either make it challenging by going as fast as you can um like there's no scenery like it's not a trail ride where you know the lunch spot you're gonna go and see a lake or be at this like really scenic spot it's just this what you're seeing um which is totally cool i use that as an opportunity to try to practice cornering um you know standing up more um, so i use it as a training opportunity but I also didn't want to ride super fast because, yeah, that's what I try to do when I'm racing. So I'm just trying to have like a chill day, but kind of found it like it could be a little bit more challenge. So if you're looking for more challenge, definitely check out our Blueberry Hustle Trail Ride. Wow, I can't speak. The Blueberry Struggle, I mean the Blueberry Hustle. And that's coming up in August and that is in Sudbury. And um, yeah, that has some pretty technical portions. Yeah, I didn't know I could do that with my camera. I accidentally pressed it and uh, got myself coming back. Well, guys, thanks for listening to me. Bye.